Guys, welcome to another video in the Flat Out Detailing series. Today, we're gonna to be reviewing Jay Leno Garage's uh, detailing products. Uh, we're really excited about this, actually. Both myself and Andy have become accustomed to the quality of Jay Leno's Garage, so it was a treat to receive a care package from them uh, to be able to test out their full line of products. So the first thing we're gonna do is uh, wash the Mini. We've got all these cars. And the Mini is the only one that's dirty. So it drew the short straw today, or the long straw, I guess. And uh, uh, some of the key products that we want to talk about is wheel cleaner and after wash protection. You know, you guys have seen the Jay Leno's Garage vehicle wash in uh, multiple videos now, including the maintenance wash, the comparison videos, and the comparison with the two foam cannons. But some of the key products we want to look at is the wheel cleaners. This is what we've been using. It's kind of a wheel brightener, and it's essentially like the most intense, horrible, like you need to wear gloves to even touch it. You have to dilute it like crazy just for it to not eat your wheels. It's incredibly acidic. Um, I wouldn't use it on any kind of chrome or any kind of nicely finished wheels, but because these are black, we're safe. We're going to start off by comparing it to the Jay Leno's Garage wheel cleaner. Um, Jay Leno's Garage wheel cleaner can be diluted down to a one-to-one -one ratio if you don't want it quite as powerful, but we're going to be using it straight out of the bottle. So first of all, let's rinse the wheels off, clean them up, and see how these two products compare side by side. If you're doing what everyone else is doing, you're doing it wrong. On the left side of the wheel, we're going to be using the wheel brightener. Again, this is the acidic one. This is the one that we don't actually really like using. Now on the right side of the wheel, you see us applying the Jay Leno's Garage wheel cleaner. You can see right away, it's a lot more sudsy. It's changing colors as well. So you can see it actually turns purple when activated. So you can see it working in real time. So it's interesting to see, like I said, from here we have the wheel brightener. Here we have the Jay Leno's Garage uh, wheel cleaner. Finally, we're going to take off the wheel scrubbing loofah. It's a sheepskin's wool straight from the hills of Australia so that there's no cross contamination. We're actually going to flip over the Australian sheep's wool. And oh, look at that. It's much more sudsy. You can almost see it working with the purple uh, diagram, how it's changing colors. You know, what do you, how do you feel in the, in the real world? I feel like you can see where it's being applied. You can feel a little more slick than the other side. This side was kind of dragging. This feels more smooth. Has a little bit more lubricity. Yeah. Okay. And it's good to see what spots you missed because it's hard to tell without having any suds if I got into all the cracks, but you can see that, you know, I didn't really miss anything going through each one. <laughs> So as we can see, we've rinsed now both wheel cleaners off. This was the side with the Jay Leno's Garage, and you can see it's almost just cleaned itself to a shine. It also seems to have left some kind of protective coating because, as you see, the water has simply faded away. On the other side where we use the wheel brightener, it is beaded, and it is, you know, you can, you can definitely wipe it off, but I still feel some kind of residue when I wipe my finger to it. The Jay Leno's Garage is almost dry already and it just it feels more protected it feels like there's been a sealant almost applied as we've cleaned the wheels whereas this one eh, feels like we might have left behind some residue the thing is with wheel cleaners you don't really want to leave any residue behind less is more when it comes to something that powerful and that acidic because that even though you may have rinsed it down with the wheel brightener, it's gonna be still eating away at your finish even after you've completed the wash. I personally feel a lot more confident that we've gotten a kind of a full effect from the Jay Leno's Garage wheel cleaner without having to risk damaging the wheels. This says it is safe for use on all types of wheels, including chrome, painted, anodized, power coated, and aluminum, which we cannot say for the wheel brightener. But yeah, so far we've only washed the wheels and uh, 
so far Jay Leno's garage is uh, above, in front of the competition. We anticipated this to be the case, but it's good to see it in real life. <laughs> Freedom. Uh, I think I stole this from Bob Dylan, but maybe I stole this from Woody Guthrie. Freedom for me is waking up in the morning and going to sleep at night and in between doing exactly what I want to do. Our next step is to use the foam cannon, as you just observed, to spray the Jay Leno's Garage vehicle watch throughout the vehicle using our foam cannon. While Andy finishes off behind me uh, using his wool mitt to wash the car, then he's going to rinse it down. Uh, our next step is going to be to dry the car. Now, most people, you know, you see on pictures and stuff, they just get like a bathroom towel or something like that, or a really cheap, horrible, you know, Costco style microfiber, and that's just the wrong answer. Drying the vehicle is when the majority of the damage can actually happen. Again, the name of the game is lubricity, and keeping a level of protection and a level of lubrication between whatever you're touching your paint with and the paint surface is going to result in overall a better finish and a lack of swirl marks. There's a couple options. Some people, you've seen us before using a leaf blower to dry the car, you know, various things like that. But today, to test the Jay Leno's Garage Evaporate product, this is kind of one of their newest products. And it's actually revolutionary, I think, because it is a drying aid. It simplifies the tedious task of drying your paint after a watch. Um, the, the thing about it is, is, is it's real simple to use. When you rinse the vehicle, you're going to have a little bit of leftover water residue. You simply spray this directly onto the wet car or onto the towel that you use for drying, which we want to use a high quality microfiber. Then it assists you in avoiding swirl marks and leaving a streak-free high gloss finish on your vehicle. Now, prior to receiving the Jay Leno's Garage Evaporate, <clears throat> the industry standard for us, the Ammo Hydrate Paint Moisturizer. Now, this is made by a guy named Larry. He owns a detailing company himself called Ammo NYC. And this is, again, not cheap stuff at all. But, you know, for a more realistic approach to the everyday at-home detailer, I think the Evaporate is gonna be a great, great contender to this high-quality product. Only one way to find out, let's rinse the car off and dry it down. Since Mini Cooper doesn't currently have any kind of um, ceramic coating or any kind of sealant on it other than the wax that is included in the Jay Leno's Garage vehicle wash. So first of all, I'm going to start with the ammo, then follow it up with the evaporate using two sections, and you'll see actually the water bead away. It's quite revolutionary. As with all products, give them a quick shake, and we just want to apply it to the vehicle there, and you can see it beading up and going away. But more excitingly, using the Jay Leno's Garage Evaporate, we'll use this section here, prime the, prime the nozzle, go on mist, and you can see a similar effect. Now I'm going to wipe one down and then wipe the other down using a fresh side of the towel and see what kind of resistance we get. So the first Jay Leno's Garage I'm going to take here as if I was drying, and just give one simple wipe. Very easy to come off. Oh, and leaves an incredibly silky smooth finish. That's actually quite remarkable. Let's flip the towel over and try the ammo hydrate. Ah, uh, it's actually, come closer, you might be able to hear. When I rub my hand over backwards, compared to the Jay Leno's Garage, gives us a nice silkier, uh, finish on the car. So actually out of these two, I'm actually very impressed with the Jay Leno's Garage. Andy, if you come over and feel so that they know it's not just me. Again, we have the ammo hydrate there and the Jay Leno's Garage here. Very similar. I mean, for the cost difference, it's hard to tell. So to finish off, uh, once the vehicle is dried and we've taken care of everything, one of the last steps is the tires. Now it looks like Andy's been off-roading in the Mini Cooper, but he hasn't. Trust me, it's just been a long time coming to get these bad boys shined up. So the Jay Leno's Garage Formula Tire Shine is nice. It gives you a wet look 
and a high shine. It also offers UV protection. We live in Las Vegas where during the summer, the asphalt on the roads can get up to like 140 degrees. So it actually is treacherous for uh, tires. So it's nice that we have a tire shine that's able to offer UV protection and keep our sidewalls from cracking. So I'm gonna put this over to, uh, so let's do spray. First, I'm gonna apply it directly to my applicator. Get a good amount there because we want these to be real nice and shiny. And then simply working around the tire, apply a nice even coat without it getting on the rim. Now, if any does get on the rim, it's not a big deal. Just take a, take a microfiber towel and wipe it off. Now, when you apply tire shine like this, you want to make sure that you either wipe it off if you're gonna be driving relatively quickly so it doesn't spray down the side of your car. If it's gonna be parked for a while, it's okay to leave it to air dry, but I would always recommend doing one wipe with a microfiber towel when you're done to wipe away any excess. But as we can see, the black tire now matches the black rim very nicely, and we have that added le layer of UV protection to go along with it. There's a couple points I wanna to touch on as we close the video out. The first is, this product placement was not compensated. This was a 100% genuine review. In fact, when I spoke to the representatives at JLMS Garage, they specifically said that they wanted an unbiased review. They didn't want anything to sway one way or the other, and this was an unpaid, nothing to do with it. Like I said, a genuine review by guys who love to keep their cars clean and protected. The second rumor I wanna dispel is that Adams Polishes and JLMS Garage are the same product. They're absolutely not. They're located in the same area of the country as with a lot of detailing companies because detailing products are incredibly heavy. And the reason that most detailing companies are based out of Colorado or that central region are because shipping from that region is pretty uniformly priced throughout the nation. To ship uh, detailing products from California to New York would be incredibly expensive. So most of them are centrally based. But again, straight from Jay Leno's Garage representatives, they are not the same company and they they are not a relabeled, rebranded version of Adams Polishes. And to sum it up, our final thoughts on the products were they're actually really great. Now, we've seen some other celebrity endorsed detailing products in the past absolutely fall flat on their face. For example, the Barrett Jackson products. It's nice to see that there's a celebrity such as Jay Leno, first of all, because we share the same first name, but most of all, actually endorsing a product that works, that is quality, something that they would want to use on their own vehicle rather than just because of financial compensation. So my recommendation to you is to, to check it out. There's going to be a link in the description below straight to the products that we use today. Give it a try. It's competitively priced and you know, on the hydrate versus the uh, evaporate products, Jay Leno's Garage is about 40% cheaper for the same amount of product that I think performs just slightly better. It's a no-brainer for me, guys. We're going to be continuing to use Jay Leno's Garage products here in the detailed videos. If you stay till the end of the video, I have a treat for you. These hats were provided by Jay Leno's Garage. They're a very nice hat. They've got Jay's signature on the side with a leather on the top. What I'm going to be doing is giving away a handful of these hats to you guys, you guys who stay till the very end. The qualifications to be entered, uh, I'm gonna be giving away probably five or six, is uh, you need to be subscribed to myself and Jay Leno's Garage, YouTube and Instagram. I can check and I do want to see it. So if you are not subscribed, you're not eligible. The first five people that email me at hat giveaway at jflatout.com will receive a hat in the mail. Make sure that you screenshot the fact that you are following Jay Leno's Garage on YouTube myself on youtube and instagram all the links will be down in the description below the first five people will be picked to and you'll receive a hat so guys have at it that's my way of engaging you giving you guys something back for staying to the very end of the video that's it that's all i got for you guys we'll see you next video brian little <laughs> Yoga.